<coughs> so let's look at solving, or we're kind of understanding if the inequality symbol is flipped around. If instead of being less than, I'm going to be greater than. Do you think greater than is the same thing as the mother hen? No, no. I, I, us I used to call this the restraining order. And you're probably wondering, why would you call this the restraining order? Well, look, I want your distance. I want your distance to be what? More. More than, ten. More than 10 units away from me. You stay away from me. I've got the court order right here that says you cannot come within 10 units of me. So where can you be? Well, let's look at the graph. You know I've got space issues. Here's zero. Here's 10 and here's negative 10. So that means where can you be? You can be greater than 10 away from me in either direction. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And this is what I call the restraining order. The restraining order, uh, it's also, maybe we call it a new name. This is the, the angry mommy. Um, you know when your mom gets so mad at you, she's like, I don't, just leave the room. Don't, I don't want to see your face or hear your voice. Have you, maybe that's just my, that's just, it's just my mom. Yeah. Or that's how I'm with my kids sometimes. But look at what we said before when we were writing all the properties for the absolute values. We said the inside stuff has to be greater than 10. What was the word that I used in between them? <coughs> Do you remember those properties that we wrote down? We said that when it's greater than, you have to be what? Greater than B, look at the word or. This word or is very important to us. This is the word or. What's understood up here? <coughs> this is understood to be the word and. What did and mean? And meant intersection. Or means what? Union. That's why when I'm talking about or here, I'm looking at doing a union, joining these guys together. So it means x is greater than 10, or what was the other part? Greater than it's not greater than negative 10. Look at your inequality up here. You flip the inequality, oh, yeah, okay. and you change the sign. Doesn't this match up with x is less than negative 10? And the other part is x is greater than 10? I feel like if x was less than 10, it would be further negative. I don't have less than 10. I have x is greater than 10. x is less than negative 10. OK, I'm green. OK. So then what's your interval notation for this guy? No, look what I have graphed here. Parenthesis negative okay. infinity, comma negative, negative, negative 10, ten parenthesis union. Ten, union 10 to infinity. infinity. Remember the word or. Or means union. You take what you see and you put it together. On the last problems that we had right here, this was less than or equal to. It was the mother hen, and basically this was, even though we didn't write it that way, this was an intersection. This was the intersection of x is less than or equal to 12. And flip this guy so it's greater than or equal to, change this sign that's negative 12. Where are you less than negative, or where, where are you less than 12 and greater than negative 12? And? And it was all the stuff there in the middle. But when I change the inequality and I want to be greater than, that means I want your distance to be further away from me on the outsides. So you have greater than 10 or less than negative 10. Uh, let's do another example uh, to kind of tie this all together. If I have the absolute value of 3 minus 5x minus 11 is greater than or equal to 2. What do you think I should do here? Move the 11 to the other side because I need to isolate my absolute value. Good. So it means the absolute value of 3 minus 5x is greater than or equal to 
13. Notice how my inequality symbol is set up. I want, and you know what, if you think about this in x's, it may mess you up, so think about it in terms of words. I want your distance, this is an absolute value distance. I want your distance to be more than 13. Does that mean I want you close by or I want to push you away from me? Push you away, restraining order, angry mommy, right? S sometimes one and the same, yes? So, if whenever we moved the 11 over, it would have been minus 11, and it would have been a negative. If this had been a negative, then it's no we'll see. We'll see what that means. If you have a negative over here, we'll talk about what that means in, in the next video. Okay. So now that I have this, I know that I'm supposed to have two sections, right? Didn't I say I want to keep you away from me? That means I want to keep you away on the left, I want to keep you away on the right. Do you all agree? So how do I describe that? Well, one is taking what's inside here, and you want that to be greater than or equal to 13. Or, what's the other inequality? You keep the stuff inside exactly the same, and then what did I say you do? <coughs> change the direction of that and change the sign of the number. So I want you to be more than 13 on one side, but I need you to be less than 13 on the other side. Is that okay? You have two linear inequalities to solve. So do it. How do I solve this guy? I'll, I'll help you out here. Negative 5x is what? Greater than or equal to 10, which means that divide by negative 5, so <laughs> x is less than or equal to negative 2. Everybody get that? No? Okay. What about this one? What would you do? Move the 3 to the other side, so we'll have negative 5x is less than or equal to what? Negative 16. Negative 16. Divide by negative 5, so x is what? Greater than or equal to 16 fifths. Do you all agree? Now, let, let's graph this. Because the graph better makes sense with what we have. But you could write that as negative 13 is greater than or equal to, I mean, just in one, one linear unit, you have to separate it out. Yeah, let me. And they'll solve, both solve. The same no. Way. No, and I'm going to show, show you why not here in just a moment. Let, let, me, let me put this on the graph, and then I'm going to come back to your question on that. We put the original uh, one on the graph, right? Original equation? The absolute value of 3 minus 5x minus 11? If you want to graph this in a graphing calculator, yes. Now, what I'm going to do here is this. I've got negative 2, and I have 16 over 5. Remember that there is order here for the number line, right? How do you graph less than or equal to negative 2? Close into the left. What about 16 fifths? <coughs> Close to the right. So here, this is from negative infinity to negative 2, bracket. Union, and the other part is 16 fifths to positive infinity with parentheses. Do you all agree with that? Yeah. How many sections, how many intervals did I expect to have in my answer? Two, because it was a restraining order, right? Now, a question <coughs> was posed earlier about could I rewrite this guy. Now, let me make sure I'm understanding you correctly. No, go on the other side and just do a negative 13 is greater than or... To the left of the orthogonal. Oh, so, so, so you do like... To your absolute value. Right. So you're saying negative 13 like this? Greater than or equal to, yeah. 3 minus 5 x, x is... Value, okay. Have to divide it by negative. Just do it that way. Well, hold on. This is what a lot of students do and you will drive me crazy. And let me tell you why. Are the inequalities flowing in the right direction? Are they, are they flowing in the same direction? Yeah. Yes. Is negative 13 greater than 13? So your inequality, as it's set up, makes 
absolutely <clears throat> no sense. It is invalid and it is unacceptable. So that's why we can't do that. Does that answer your question? But do you get the same answer? No. You sure? This right here has the implication of the word and. We're looking for the intersection. That's the implication there when you write it using that notation. Where do these guys intersect? They don't. If you do this, you're going to get all the way to the very down to the very bottom, and you're going to have. I think you would have something like this. Um, <coughs> well, I did it that way. I got the same answer. The, the math is the, the, the math is going to be the same, but what you're saying is invalid, and you will get busted for it, big time.